From Chopper 7, it's easy to see the heavy smoke engulf the building. It took the work of almost 30 Detroit firefighters to put out the fire. Yolanda Beasley, her husband and kids were the only family living in a unit at the apartment building. I'm just a little lost that this has happened. It's like a setback. A viewer shot this video as firefighters were actively putting out the fire. No one was inside the building when it broke out. Yolanda was at her god sister's house. Um, one of the neighbors had called and said that the apartment was on fire, and we flew from my house down here. But then as I got out from Davidson, I'm looking, I said, wait a minute. I said, that's a little too close to home. And I turned up LaSalle here, and I said, oh, no. I said, is that my house? And it was the apartment right next to me. We're told two firefighters tried to climb the stairs to battle the flames and smoke. They fell through. Another was injured. All three were taken to the hospital. Their conditions are not known. The fire is believed to be electrical. A firewall helped prevent the blaze from spreading to additional units. No one seemed to have any life-threatening injuries. Glad my kids weren't here. You know, I took them to school this morning because they didn't even want to go. Right, it so. was a blessing. I, I'm just glad they were in school and everything is it's not as worse as it could have been. Well, yeah, was nobody in there. Thank goodness. You know, that was a blessing and nobody was in there. And firefighters say the whole building has smoke damage, but at least 10 units were destroyed. They believe the fire was accidental, but right now it is under investigation. On Detroit's west side, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.